Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this video, I'm going to tell you something that you haven't heard before. Something that is going to be very helpful during the day of your CS and examination. And if you miss this, then you might not get the extra kick that you need to get into the exam hall and appear in the exam. Three mistakes that you should always avoid uh, when you are preparing for the CS and exam on the day of the exam itself. Mistake number one, and that is in very simple word what I can say oil your own machine instead of oiling your own machine people try to check what others are doing this is a terrible mistake I can tell you if during the exam in the exam hall this is a CBT mode exam and there are things that can go wrong situations that might annoy you there are technical glitches and there had been technical glitches earlier which may take some time to fit to be fixed and CSI is not that fast in order to deal with this situation. NT is not that fast in order to deal with this situation always. So in the situations like this, while attending the questions, do not peek what others are doing. Do not try to understand like what others are doing. I'm not telling uh, to see their answer and input, not like that. But the thing is that overall, it's a human mentality that they try to see what others are doing. See situations when, uh, let's say you are attending 10 questions and you haven't answered any one of them you are not confident answering them then they tend to look at what others are doing like others in that situation it can become very tiresome okay and that uh, may lead to some sort of negative impact on your decision and selection process while attending the question so don't do that and if any uh, glitch comes in any technical issue probably in that particular room where you are sitting in the exam just wait comfortably and be composed be focused because the issue might be resolved within five minutes or within six minutes it's only four or five minutes a game but by that time if you get over anxious and you'll get tensed then after even after the issue is fixed you'll get plenty of time but due to that anxiousness and lack of focus you might make mistakes even in the questions where uh, which you already prepared so keep this in your mind Second important mistake that you should avoid that is taking too much risk in part C. You can take risk in part A or part B because they are two marks questions. And in honestly I can tell you is that part B is something not worth taking the risk because you either know the answer or you don't know the answer. It's memory based. But most of the time if you try to think and overthink uh, about a question and that question is from part C. Because the part C questions are analytical, so uh, proper thinking is necessary, it's required to deal with it. Now you might not get it properly. So if you fail to have a proper selection, that might lead to your failure answering the question. And even uh, you get biased by the factor that uh, you attended uh, 15 questions and only answered two of them. Now there will be increasing pressure in your head. To attend the next question and answer it even though you're not confident about it 100 percent it's something like giving an analogy of a cricket match in the last over uh, so there are two overs left right and you haven't scored the enough runs so there will be pressure on you in the last over to score maximum and to do that you can get caught right so that is something happened in the exam too so do not do that because it can be possible that at the last 10 questions you'll be able to answer all the 10 right so don't judge yourself until you completed the question paper or finished the question question paper and the third and most important one which you may not even think is that have the courage to get out of your bed and go and attend the csi exam on the day of the examination if you can't if you haven't participated in the exam at all if you don't participate in the exam at all there is no point of winning or losing a person can win a person can lose but a person never appeared in the exam can't have either of that nor winning nor losing right so don't be a coward and face the exam why i'm telling this is based on the statistics every single session almost 80000 students fill the form and only 45 to 50000 55000 students appear in the exam just think it's one third of the population don't even appear in the examination yes it's truth whatever reason may it be but don't do that 
face the exam even if your target is the next december examination or next june examination fine but at least attend the exam to check where you currently stand how much preparation do you need to cover your lags and gaps so that you can appear in the exam next time and can conquer it keep these three mis- uh, things in your mind do not do these three mistakes please don't do this if you do this to yourself then you're not going to get the confidence to attend any other examination in your life again it's all about the attitude it's all about your mental toughness along with your preparation like many people will be prepared they are equipped they they have prepared they read the topics they learn things but only winning is not possible by everyone winning is only possible by those along with the preparation have the mental toughness and the ability to win and the positive mindset positive mindset is the most important thing while preparing for this examination while preparing for any examination or interview i wish you all the very best for the examination thank you very much bye